perform autopsy on the body of the late Willis, a uh, gentleman who was found uh, dead in the body of water within the western region after having gone missing for some time. So upon uh, having the autopsy, what we found first of all is uh, the body was decomposed uh, to a great extent. And uh, uh, what we found as the injury were on the head. We found a lot of uh, bleeding, uh, bruising the, the scalp and bleeding in the brain. So this is what led to his death. Other than that, there were some other bruises we found on the wrist. And I found that uh, when he was found, he had some handcuffs on, so there were bruising on the wrist, which were as, other, uh, as a result of the handcuffs. Uh, there were also some bruising on the knees and the, on the lower limbs. We found also some missing tissues on the face, uh, around the mouth, the ears, the cheek, the chest. But looking at them, uh, initially we thought probably this person was undergoing some form of torture. But uh, when we examined them uh, very closely, they looked like uh, what is called animal predation. Uh, I think there were some, the body of water man, must be having some animals like fish and all that, some crabs. We, found a, we actually found a dead crab in the, 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 the clothes, so we think uh, they were nibbling uh, on the soft part of the body and causing those. That is all. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I want to say that uh, my name is Professor Emily Abiyambo Rogena. I'm a pathologist and a professor in human with what uh, Dr. Gwur has said, we are in agriculture is the cause of death is due to blood plus trauma. And also importantly, we were able to identify them positively from clothing and the physical features. So we believe this is really stunning. 